Hey, listen. All right. I'm not going to be on here long, but I thought I'd just share this article with y'all from the Daily Mail. And it's too crazy. And this is what y'all asses get. <laughs> it's way too terrifying. Joker viewers around the globe walk out of movie theaters and urge cinemas to ban the controversial film amid ongoing concerns over glamour rising gun crime. Wow. Movie lovers hit out at the film which sees uh, Joaquin Phoenix portray Arthur Fleek, the embattled clown who transformed into Batman's most iconic nemesis. Joker has been plagued with controversy due to the excessive violence and gun use, while others insist that the movie forces viewers to sympathize with the anti-hero. A fan claimed Joker was too terrifying considering what's going on in the world. A theater in Huntington Beach, California canceled two screenings Thursday night after receiving a threat, police said. Both Phoenix and director Todd Phillips have defended the film with the actor saying that he, thrust, he trusts audience to know the difference between right and wrong. The controversial film scored an incredible October box office record with an eye-popping 13.3 million earned in Thursday night showing. Y'all already know, this morbid country and this sick world, and you talk about guns, oh Lord have mercy, it's a recipe. <laughs> Some people love that, okay? And, um, like I said, I believe it's a curse on the movie, but this is the Joker, and I'm worried about the guy that's playing him. Anyway, controversial movie Joker has caused further concern after fans stormed out in the cinema following his global release this weekend. Movie lovers flooded Twitter on Friday with comments about the film, which sees Joaquin Phoenix portray Arthur Flex the embattled clown who later transformed into Batman's most iconic comic book character. Among a flurry of messages on the global micro-blogging site, one fan wrote, literally just walked out of the screening of the Joker. Way too terrifying to be there with all that's going on uh, on the way that the movie glamorizes gun violence and mental health issues. Wow. Well, that's good. I mean, honestly, if y'all think the movie is too violent, that's a good sign for me. And God bless y'all who walked out because, you know, Hollywood will keep feeding it to you. If they know you like trash and that you a human garbage dispenser, that's what's going to happen. And that's why you got society that's more and more out of control, more and more violence, more and more gun use, more and more just pretty much insanity. Because nobody has got the nerve and the guts and the balls, the testicular fortitude to pull back on some of this stuff. Joker has been plagued with controversy due to excessive gun, uh, violence and gun use. While others insist, um, again, the movie sympathizes with the anti-violent hero. I mean, with the, with sympathize with the anti-hero. Victims of the Aurora, Colorado theater massacre that occurred during the 2012 Dark Knight Rises showing have called on Warner Brothers to support gun control initiatives, which the studio, studio says it already does. A theater in Huntington Beach canceled two screens, which I already said, and it appears not only canceled the screens, um, their problem, as many fans have now revealed that they stormed out of the cinema 
once they had started watching the film. Um, this is just a few little uh, texts that the people wrote. Shantae said, I walked out. This movie, hashtag Joker, banned this movie. It is a psychological approach on the mind. I was rooting for him until shit got real. Mark Atkinson would have walked out of the Joker after an hour if the missus would have let me. <laughs> Mikey Gomez. White dude next to me walked out of Joker in the last few minutes of the movie. Had me a little shook. I'm not going to lie. Katie Carter says, I never walked out of a movie before, but with the Joker, I came very close. Wow. Shocking among a flurry of messages that came from the site. One fan wrote, I literally had to walk out. Users pin, um, another one, just walked out. Haven't been anxious in a movie in a long time. Fuck that, man. I've never walked out of a movie, but this Joker, I came very close. Okay? So, because it, it did. It got real what they said. So, by unanimous decision, the four of us walked out of the Joker movie. I haven't walked out of a movie in years. I have never walked out of a theater more uncomfortable than I am right now walking out of the Joker. What a fucked up movie. Literally just walked out of the screening of the Joker. Way too terrifying issues. And I think it's real important that, you know, y'all come to the con uh, common sense. Because you don't know who's sitting next to you in that damn That kind of mental illness uh, they may have. And I want y'all to chime in. Tell me, you know, if you think I'm going a little bit too far. What y'all think? I mean, there are people walking out this movie. Have you seen it? I haven't. I'm not a movie goer. I don't like movies that much. I'm more of a type of person. Um, I don't, you know, so I haven't seen it. But anyway, the 48-year-old director revealed during the New York Film Festival on Wednesday night that his depictions of violence were a needed departure from the glorification found in other action movies. Phoenix portrayed the character as a bullied man, Arthur Fleck, who after living on the outskirts of society, snaps and begins to take revenge on all those who have wronged him. That's the surprising thing to me. He said of the movie's East Coast premiere, I thought, isn't that a good idea to put real world implications on violence? Now, Las Vegas, and you think we don't have a set of freaking frat violence is? <laughs> Isn't it a good thing to take away the cartoon element about violence that we've been so immune to? Uh, listen to these freaks. I was a little surprised when it turned into that direction. That's irresponsible. Because to me, it's very responsible, real, and make it have weight and implications. Well, this receiving critical acclaim, social monitoring FBI agents in the U.S. have inspired screening attacks from ills, a term which refers to men who are involuntarily celibate and blame their situation on women. On women. Wow. 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 Especially dudes that can't get none um, really don't be seeing no movie. Now, nah. mm. hey, buddy, <laughs> what do y'all think of this movie? If you have, please let me know what you think. Like I said, I haven't seen the movie. Uh, don't land on it. Um, but I certainly would like to know the opinion of y'all who have the movie. And, um, pretty much what y'all think about it. Think the movie should be it? You think that, you know, it was worth the... 
and then you think all is good, and that's not a problem. All right. Um, leave your comment below, and we'll see you in the next video.